Hello and welcome to Simple Split Test Script. Today I'm going to show you how our program works and how it's going to save you a load of time and money. Now to start off with, you're going to open up your Split Test Script zip file and you're going to see everything you see here with the exception of the demo squeeze pages that I've set up for this promotion. So what you'll have is the images, the stats, the 1, 2, and 3.opt.html, the fs.json, the index.php, the land.html, the setup guide, and then these two as well are things that you won't see, but you'll also have the stats.php, which is called from in every one of the demo pages, as you can see right here. Now the first thing you need to do when setting this up is to upload those files into the same root directory of whatever it is you're trying to test. So if you're trying to test your home page, which in most cases is index.html or index.htm as it may be, then you want to make sure that each of these is here and you want to make sure that whatever your standard home page was before you began is labeled differently. Quite often what I'll do with something like that is to simply go like this and right right click and say rename and if this was my home page prior which it is isn't but I'll just go old and I'll click save and that way I know what I'm, I'm still saving for later for when permanent changes are made in this case though that was just a demonstration so I do need to make sure that we still have the land.html file not a problem now with all of your files uploaded you don't have to create a database you don't have to do anything fancy, no MySQL, nothing. It's ready right out the box as long as you've configured the files that you want to split test with. In this case, for both beginnings, we've simply created three pages with a respective number. One, two, and three. And you'll notice the link here that says follow this link. It's, again, back to land.html which is meant for only for demonstrational purposes. So let's get back to our demonstration. These are uploaded. You're going to want to make sure that you clear your cookies. And you'll notice that I'm using three different browsers, which is because it's going to cookie the system each time we use it. So I want to make sure that I have three different browsers for the cookies to be placed on. And in Internet Explorer, you'll notice I went to Tools, Options, in your general tab, click delete right in the center. I don't delete passwords. It's not very wise. It's only take a moment because I've done this a couple of times. While it's doing that, come over to Firefox. With this one, you just click tools. Come down here to where it says clear recent history. That's asking if you want everything cleared. I uncheck where it says active logins. Tell it to clear now. And then for Google Chrome, click the wrench, come down to options. On the third tab over where it says under the hood, there's a little, little button right here that says clear browsing data. Again, I don't clear the saved passwords. Okay. Click close. Now I'm going to need a URL. And the page you're looking at, again, I'm setting up a separate split while we're doing this, but the page you're looking at may be red, orange, green, blue, or black. Because it's my intention, just as well as anybody else's, to see what works best for our needs. But for demonstration purposes, we only need the index file and I am going to go from yahoo.com I should have done that prior always make sure that you're clearing from a separate page while that's doing its job excellent all right click OK Remember, we're looking for a 1, a 2, or a 3. This one comes up with a 3.
in Firefox we are loading the script. It might still be clearing some of the data. Well, it does that. Let's check and see what Chrome is doing. In the Chrome browser, we come up with the number one. You can see that this is random because it's picking a different .opt.html file. There's one, there's three, and this time it shows one again. Now, if we go through this and clear our browser again, I'm certain that we'll get different results. And just for demonstrational purposes, we'll do this a couple of times here. Click delete. Let that do its job. Come over here to Yahoo. Click to clear our browsing history in Firefox. and then come over here and I had this one going to Google so we had a separate page come down here to options remember again under the hood clear browsing data do not clear your saved passwords click OK and if we do this again notice we have a 1 instead of a 3 here this time and then on this one, we're getting the three. Now what I'm fishing for is the moment where the number two will come up. It didn't this time through. There we go. Super fast here. Delete these cookies. And again, the idea is to go for randomness because you want results. You want to be able to tell what it is that's converted, what, what's getting people to click, what's getting people to stay on your page and surf around on that page because that's going to show you what's doing best for your needs. So now we're going to do this one more time here. Tell it to clear the browsing data. And we're going to come over here and click OK. There we go. We got number two come up. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just click one, one time. It's going to go back to a sample page. This is landing page. But again, you notice that was number two instead of the three or the one. So then we're going to come over here. When two's back in season, it looks like. But I'm not going to click that one. We are going to close this. And this time I got a one. I'm going to click this one as well. Now, when you go to check your stats, it's really simple. You just forward slash stats and what it's going to show you is each of the numbers how many times it's been seen see it says number one has been seen five times number two has been seen twice number three has been seen twice and only number one and number two have been clicked and it even shows you the percentage of what you're getting because this one number two according to this has only been seen twice but it's gotten one of the two clicks. It's half. It's a 50% ratio. So, so far, this is converting the best. Now, the same thing is going to happen when you start testing different headlines, different colors, different backgrounds, different images, different videos, things like that. You're going to want to know what converts best. And this is the simplest way we could come up with to show you. Very, very easy to work with. Now, on that note, scroll down to the bottom. Take action, put in your email address, and get your free software today. Thank you, and have a great day.